AITA for laughing at my sill and telling her I have zero desire to raise her child. Obligatory throw away. All names changed for anonymity. I for 4 FA am married to my hubby, Jimmy 48 m for over two decades. My parents died suddenly in a car accident 10 years ago. I have a younger sister, Abigail 39 F with Down syndrome, and Jimmy and I are guardians. Abigail is my sweet angel on earth. When my parents passed, I was a working mother of three young kids, helping to build our family business with my husband. At first, Abigail lived with us full time. Jimmy has always been at my side with her care and loves her to bits. After a few months, we realized that my sister needed more attention than we could give her. There was just not enough time in the day. We discussed what would be best for her and decided to put her into a private adult home for special needs people. It's very costly over 10K a month and comes from our own finances. The facility does all sorts of activities and field trips. She loves her home, her friends, and the special days the facility hosts. We are always stopping by to either visit, sign her out on holidays to spend with family, keep her overnight for special sleepovers with my kids, and take her on every vacation with us. We never go more than 24 hours without one of us making sure she's okay. Now, on to the issue. I have SIL, Jenny 42F who had her first child after years of trying. She's become the typical first-time mom who believes she invented motherhood and is openly opinionated about things she believes other parents fall short on. I mostly ignore her, and so does Jimmy. We hosted a BBQ at my house for Labor Day with my Phil, Mill, Jenny, her husband, baby, and my kids. Abigail had a planned trip to the zoo and asked if she could go. Of course, we said okay. While I we were eating, Jenny turned to me and asked me where Abigail was. Her tone was more accusatory than questioning. I simply didn't want to get into it with Jenny, so I said Abigail wanted to stay at the home. Jenny then turned to her hubby and said, see this is why it won't ever happen. My mill asked Jenny what she was talking about. Jenny, all snarky, said to the whole table, we did our wills last week and knew these two wouldn't be suitable as guardians of our baby if something happened to us. They tossed her sister into a home rather than be real family to her. I won't let that happen to my child. I didn't let it show, but I was extremely hurt she could say this. Instead of yelling, I laughed at her and said, Well, that's great news since I have zero desire to raise your kid. More was said, but that's the gist of it. Jenny left with her family calling me nasty swear words as she walked out. I might have said a few swear words myself right back at her. It's been over a month now and Jimmy is still getting nasty texts from Jenny demanding I apologize. My mill knows she overstepped with her comment, but is asking me to be the bigger person and say sorry to keep the peace. I refuse. Ada.